Do you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, we like pancakes. Do you like French toast? Yeah, we like French toast. Dip, 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 dip. Can't wait to get a mouthful. Waffles. 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 Dip, 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 dip. Can't wait to get a mouthful. Do you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, we like pancakes. Do you like French toast? Yeah, we like French toast. Dip, dip, Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm shattered. You know what we didn't do before we came live? What? We didn't put them in our order of what we were going to do oh, them. We didn't, did we? Because you know what it is? You know the intro video there? I did mm. it about 15 minutes before we went live. I was like dashing around to get photographs and <sighs> totally unprepared. Totally unprepared. Brilliant intro. Oh, great. Uh, we've got Jasmine in. Hiya, Jasmine. You're nice, sweetheart. How are you doing? So, good evening, good evening. Feeling hot, <laughs> hot, hot. hot. <laughs> well, you, nice. hot. The missus has got the bloody eating on. I've had to open the window. I'm bloody baking here. I'm baking. Oh, be I, careful because she's watching. Who? Me, ma'am. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Be very careful what you say. Be very careful. Good yes. evening, Ruth. How are you? Good evening, everybody. So we've got Ian Eamon, Greg. Good evening, Greg. Carl. Oh, he's, he's in there. Yes, please. I haven't even put the bloody... I haven't thing. even seen that comment. What the hell? Ooh. Oh, he's Mr. Dudbridge. I hope you see if Neil, because Neil is busy driving. He's taking... Was that Carl Henson, sorry? Yeah, Carl Henson. Deb, you need to change that. Show you how unprepared we are. Do you put it on to be ended on the wheel of Kipper? Say yes, please. <laughs> I thought I had the freaking bad day to day. Oh, it's all oh dear. Not a good start. Come on, Debs, what are you doing? Change it. What's she doing? Mm. One job. Wait, like, why is my comments oh. not coming up? I don't know. Probably Facebook. So, we're just waiting for, for Debs. Right, okay, I've got Wayne Leach. Ah, there we go. Right, I can say Ruth's comment. Have we got them? Have you got De uh, Wayne Leach, Dick Duffy, Stephen Murray, Greg Webb? No, no, hang on. Can everyone say yes, please, again, if you haven't, or if you have previously, because it's only just kicked in. <laughs> right. Well, while oh, you're man. doing her job, her one and only job... Um, Cheeky bastard. Oh, um, my fucking pen's running out. <laughs> oh, God, you turn into crap. Fuck's sake. Oh, thanks. Dear me. Right, tonight we've got the draw for Perfect Vip. Um, there is 18 entries. I'll just check and make sure that uh, there wasn't any additional entries. Hang on a second. Oh, do, 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 do. Where are you? Where are you? You can tell we're not... Um, I want that. So 47 comments. Last chance. Yeah, there was 18 entries. So we've got 18 entries. Have we got 18 on the wheel, Debs? Have you? 
and a half. Right, okay, so it was, uh, it was basically, it was take a screenshot and put it in the comments. Um, everybody's done that, and you would be given a number. Obviously, you had to be watching to claim it. So tonight, um, we're going to do the wheel. We'll do that now uh, before we get on to the review. Um, or we'll do a couple. We'll do a couple. And then just in case people are getting getting in and whatever, but we'll do a couple, see what happens, um, and then we'll do another couple. And um, but there's five winners tonight, so they will get a bottle of Perfect Vape free of charge, delivered to your door. Uh, no postman pack required. So uh, there's a good chance there's five members are going to pick up. Well, definitely five members are going to pick up a bottle. You can go for the range that we're doing tonight. There's um, six in the perfect vape uh, dessert range. One of them might take your fancy. I'll show you the other ones that we've got for review. There's a bubblegum one and there's a tuck shop one. There's also a cider range. Now, um, the guys... No, that's separate, I think. Is it? Right. Yeah, okay. that one's separate. It's a brand new range. That's coming out. That's it's coming just out. a release, yeah. Right, that's coming out soon. Um, the guys, obviously, with lockdown and um, the COVID, um, it's set back the plans for what they'd had planned. So they are 12, 13 weeks behind where they wanted to be because all of this was going to be shown at Expo. So... Yeah. Um, that the plans. they've obviously they've converted the Horizon Vape Distro um, um, warehouse that they've got um, and they've put a shop in now so if anybody's in the Sunland area pop in to Horizon Vape Distro and um, it's just, just round the corner from Asda at Grangetown so for the, the, the people that know um, the Sunland area and you can pick up a VIP card I'm not sure whether they've got any left, but when you called into the Horizon Vape sh um, store, as it's called, um, you signed up for the VIP card that permanently gave you a 10% discount on anything that you purchased, and you were given the Dunix pod. Now, this is the one that Dawn picked up. It's still wrapped, so this will be going up as a, a giveaway this week. Um and it would be along with some juice, so uh, that would be on a, a last comment. And this one is actually the rainbow one. So there's the VIP store VIP card. That it's a loyalty card that Don, myself, and Debbie picked up. I don't know if you've seen the live when we were there. Um, we've got a lovely setup there, and um, lovely ranges of juices as well. So, so this will be going up as a. Um, Hi, a Andy. Yeah, and along with um, maybe it's a couple of the bottles or two or three of the bottles of juices that we're doing tonight. So, obviously, the review juices, so there'll be some taken out. We'll be giving some of these away tonight as well with um, the the Wheel of Kipper. And um, just on that, we have John, he will be joining me after the review. Um, Wayne Leach is going to be joining us. Um, he decided he wanted to, to do them as well with us. So, uh, this is mental. But unfortunately, I've got a dicky, dicky stomach, so I can't do it. So it's only going to be weird on his one. Have you been drinking African Listerine again? No, no. <laughs> I, I, I don't know whether to have a glass of water or, or a glass of milk ready for to bloody cool me gob down. But, you know, mm -hmm. it would probably be nothing. So anyway, we're doing... So tonight we've got... The um, Carolina Reaper Chili Chocolates. Good luck. And also the um, Jelly Bean Bean Boozled Fiery Five Challenge. So they're in different strengths of um, chilies or peppers or whatever. So There's got... Paul just seeing there. I've got some lovely Carolina Reaper Pepper Burgers from Iceland. Well hot. Oh, shit, right. Well, we've got the lowest one is Siraca, Siraca then Jalpino. Yeah, easy. Cayenne, easy. Habanero. Do you have a view? I think you need to put 
They're in the put, freezer. Yeah, I was going to say, put bog rule in the freezer ready. <laughs> and then the hottest one is the Carolina Reaper. So, That's one. Is that one of the hottest or the hottest chili? I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Go on, the pot. Have a good laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> if we, I got twenty five rows of book. You're gonna, we're gonna need them. <laughs> the thing is, my missus went out. She says, "I'll get you some special bog paper for when you read your your beans." I went, "Okay," and she come back. It was that poxy eyes out one, you know, the bloody the one that rips your bum to bits. The you know, happy the, sort of stuff. You, you know the one that you used to get in the schools as kids, you know, and it was like. Oh, oh yes, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's the hottest. I thought it was Carl. I thought the Carolina Reaper was the hottest. Yeah, twenty times hotter than a jalapeno. Yeah. Uh, win. We're not doing it, mate. <laughs> I can't. I've got. I've got bad guts. I still think. I still think that you need to do the um, devil chip. We, well, we're going to be looking at that. We're going to be looking at that. We'll see. We'll see how this goes, anyway. But um, I think Wayne's going to. He's in the spare room. Your mother says. Um, <laughs> I tell you, if, if, if I part in the spare room, you'll still I've, smell it in the bedroom. Love. I've got some uh, spare nappies if he needs them. He might have to tape about seven or eight of them together, though. <laughs> We're only a size five. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god! Oh, just stop trying to put us off. I'm not. I'm not reading how hot these are or what it is. Uh, anyway, we'll see. We'll see how they go. But um, we will. Me and Wayne are going to do that. If we if we keep her, if only if we keep her. If we don't keep her, we don't do. So hopefully tonight I don't keep her anybody. I'm hoping upon hope that we don't keep her anybody. So um, yeah, exactly, man. Size of his ass. <sighs> <laughs> Brutal. Anyone <laughs> else for this wheel, by the way? That is for later on. Once we've done the review, Wayne will be joining us. I tell you what, I don't know if it was my name or me, but I think they're both of us. Um, so we will. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're quite big, size eight. They are quite I'll, big then. I'll probably, I'll probably only get my armpit bullet in that, wouldn't I? Probably. Everyone's name who's down on the wheel of Kipper has now just turned around and said, no, nah, take mine off. I don't want to be on no more. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll probably end up doing it anyway. Um, Shelley, are you wanting to be on, sweetheart? Because I haven't seen... A yes, please, from you. I don't know if she's got work. She probably said work. Oh, shit. Put her name down, and then if we... If, you never know. We might get through it if I stop waffling and get on with it. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. There's no chance of winning the fucking lottery, and I don't play the fucking thing. So, anyway, the, the, we'll, we'll put the website up. What I will say is the website is under construction at the moment. They are trying to get it all up and running, and it should be up and running pretty soon. So some of the juices that we're reviewing are not actually on the website at the moment. But what the guys over at um, Horizon Vape Distro and Horizon Vape Store have said is, if there's some of these that you're after that we do in the reviews on, drop them a message and they will fulfil your order. So, Dawn, the prices are for a 50 mil, well, there are 60 mil bottle with 50 mil of juice. They are. Hang on, hang on. I've got my pewter. I've got my pewter. Oh, see, one job. I'll give her one job. Shut up. Right. <laughs> oh, half naked, man. <laughs> the prices are for a 50 mil bottle, it's £7.95. For uh -huh. a 100 mil bottle, it's £12.95, and they do have a couple of offers, but it's in-store only offers. So if anyone's local, I know that there's a couple on the page that is, if you want three of the 50ml bottles, mix and match, it's £20. 
Three, if the 100ml bottles mix and, max, mi bleh, mix and match, it's £30. That's why I do the waffle and, and you'll just yeah. there, look pretty. Yeah, okay. Shelly, I've put your name down, sweetheart. I'll tell him we're not waffle. We'll, we'll, we'll see how we go up. So tonight we're doing orange cream cake. Now you better put them in order which way you want them. Right, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, right. We'll start with custard cream. Oh, custard cream, which is, uh, I take it, that's the the biscuit. Yeah. Then yeah. we'll do lemon slice. All right, a lemon slice. Then orange cream cake. Orange cream cake. Ooh. I'm looking forward to that one. Then the salted caramel profiterole. Yeah, profiterole. Now, what we will admit to is... We never normally have a finger of these before the live, so you'll get the true reaction. Unfortunately, when we went to see the guys at um, Horizon Vip store, um, he said, oh, out, out of that range, what, you, what are you really looking forward to? And we went, well, all of them, but everybody knows I love my caramel, right? So... Uh, I had a cheeky finger test of that one. Thanks, so, Stephen. I've, I've popped Lisa down on the list just in case she wanted to be on. A, sorry, Dad, she's on a comment ban. Lisa can't oh, comment. She's watching. Oh, yeah, it. wifey. Well, wifey, look, if you, if, if, if you come out, just DM either me or Dawn or Debbie and see it. I'm here. Yeah. You're know at the end, sweetheart. <coughs> it's doing my titting. Bloody Ruth got a got a twenty four hour ban for bloody um, saying to Ian in, on one comment. I'll kick you in the shins. <laughs> out loud. Got a twenty four hour ban for that. You what? got one. You got one. Was it seven days or something? For seven putting days. girls are crap. <laughs> oh, crap. And Vicky Barrow, who was a, who was an admin on the same group as me, because we were an admin on a group, and and it was girls against boys, and I'd said girls are crap. Bang, seven day ban. Vicky, straight after us, she put boys are crap, bang, seven day ban. What? For being sexist? Oh, stupid. Who uh, a mini minch. <laughs> uh, then, which one are we doing? Uh, yeah, sort of coming up. Well, then the forest fruit gat or right. well, cherry yeah. beer. Well, we had a finger test of that one, didn't we? Yeah, but the guys in the shop near to us, they made us have a finger test of the salted caramel and the forest fruit. Yeah. The others we haven't. I haven't no. even smelt them. No. And then we've got cherry beer quail. Yeah, last. Wow. So have you got all the names down? Do you want to shout the names out that you've got? Just to check. Uh, and I think so. Right. I've got... Carl Henson, Ruth Kelly, Podfather, Stephen Denton, Alex Lane, Ian Heyman, Adrian Winchester, Matt Key, Derek Duffy, Wayne Leach, Paul Wilkinson, Greg Webb, Stephen Murray, Pete and Tyson, Poppy Wright, Kenny Axe, Neil Dudbridge, Shelley Boone, and my lovely wifey. Lisa! I think that is everyone. That's <laughs> Carl Sien, oh my God, I beat Pete. <laughs> it did. Either that or my phone just wasn't working properly. Oh, How about you, Podfather? Are we going to oh, down? pick a safe tonight, me. <laughs> you've, got, you've got the Podfather down, have you? I have, yes. Good, good, good. Right. Okay, let's get started. So let's do a draw first. So, Debs, do you want to bring up the, um, the wheel? Let's do a draw. Let's do two. We'll do two to start off with. And see who the first two lucky ones are. Now, if, if you hang around till the end, you can pick one of the perfect for your dessert ones, or there's another two ranges at the back there. I'll show you them. There's a bubble gum range and there's a tuck shop range. So you can let us know in a DM which one you want. We'll take it over to the guys tomorrow and um, we will give them all the details, the, the, the addresses, etc., and we'll get them shipped off to you. So, yeah, no postage yeah. needed on this one either. No, no postage or anything. Right, sure.
Go on then, Debs. Spin the wheels. Let's let's get the first lucky person drawn. Good luck, everybody. I'll write them down. Give them these. Well, I've got all of the names on a on a piece of paper so I can tell you what it is. Oh, it's a late entry. It's a late entry. Number 16. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who is that? Number 16 is Dawn what? Oh, respin, respin. Respin? Yeah, give it one of the members. I, I, I'm not going to take a win off a member. Good lass, good lass. Let the members try them. I'm getting a chance to try them tonight. So. Oh, it's an early door. It's. Oh, it, oh, 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 lucky number one. Number one, it's the one and only Joker, Greg Webb. Greg. Mr. Webb. I'm, I bet he's here. I bet he's here. Are you here, Greg? I tell you what, I'm over the moon because he's had a shit week, the poor bloke. He's bloody, he's had a real bad week. He has, bless him. Lovely gesture, Dawn. Well, look, he's there. He's commented. He's commented. So. Thank you, guys. I would rather you slot have a chance to try them because, I mean, we're getting a chance to try them anyway. We've got all three of the Rangers to review. And they're literally, they're down the road from us. And because I've now got my VIP card... I can easily pop in and get the offer of the three for 20 or three for 30 if I, I wanted to buy them. So, yeah, I'm here, real chuff. Thank you. No, thank you for being here, Greg. It's, uh, hey, mate, you deserve it, it's especially the week that you've had, mate. Bless you. Yeah. You had a real shit week. Um, I think most people are having a, a, a bad time at the moment with this bloody lockdown and whatever. Yeah. Um, but poor Craig, he's, he's he's had a bad time health wise and whatever. So uh, hopefully that'll put a little smile on your face, yeah, Mister Joker. Yeah. Uh, well done, Craig. Well done, mate. Awesome. So right. uh, second first, one. Second one. Go on. Second one. Who was the second one? Oh, another latest entry, number 14. Number Fuck's sake, he's only gone and done it again. He's only gone and done it again. He tried. No, no. I'll, t I'll tell you a story about Trotty in a second, but uh, the lovely Carl Henson. Yay, well done, Carl. Well done, Carl, mate. Number 14. Awesome. So, And I know Carl... Um, I was talking to Carl earlier on. There's a, we'll not mention it at the moment, but there's another range that I've been putting some teasers up on. Uh, is coming, and Carl has pre-ordered on them. So, um, has he? Yes, he has. He has. Uh, so, well done, Carl. And just on Mark Trot, um, I got a message off uh, the Golden Monkey um, today. Bless him. Um, we did a last comment. <laughs> and uh, three bottles of juice and a key ring, right? And um, the lovely Shelley Bell, bless her, she came in. I mean, nobody knows what time it's going to finish. I find out about 15 minutes before it's due to finish. And um, I, 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 I go in that tease and I'll say, you know, this is going to finish the date before 23.59 or whatever, you know, and I work down sort of thing. You know what I'm like. I'm a prat. I'm a melt. But, yeah. Um, um, and the lovely Shelly Boom went and tagged a load of people, right? And then went for a pee. And Trotty came in and went, hello. And your mother turned the comments off. <laughs> so I got, I got, I got a message of Trotty. The Golden Monkey would like to re-donate back for a last comment or whatever. Um, because the monkey doesn't feel like he deserved to win it. <laughs> because he... It was his first comment that he put on it because he'd been tagged. So, yeah, he got tagged off Shelley. You could say it was Shelley. It was Shelley who tagged Mark Trot, and then all of a sudden Mark Trot's comment came up as "hello," and then it was comments turned off. <laughs> so, you know, it was like he won. But what he's done is fair play to him. I mean, we don't know how many times people have commented on it or whatever. Um, 
But fair play to him. He said, look, I don't think it's right that I've won it. I only commented the once and it was the last comment. Please, can I donate it back? Do it as another last comment or addition to a last comment or whatever. So we said, yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, that's the thing, though. Right? It's literally, it's like winning the lottery. Like thousands, millions of people can have a ticket, but it only takes that one. And it just goes to show that one comment. <laughs> I nearly said to him, give us the bloody lottery numbers. <laughs> right, That's is there anyone cool. else for the Wheel of Kipper? And we'll do another couple of draws yeah. after some of the juices. Yeah. Because don't forget, it might be that you decide that there's a couple there that you want to, you or know, one that you want to, to, to grab as part of your prize. Debbie, if you're watching, oh, <laughs> can you me. accept um, Lisa's other account, uh, Gangster C Custard? What? <laughs> <laughs> Gangster C Custard has requested to join. Could you please um, accept it? Gangster Secret. What for? What's it Because you told Jamie that she was going to kill him for eating all of our men's pies. Ah, so they picked up on the word kill. Stupid. Me Deacon. <coughs> so have we got Lee Deacon? Um, I have, yeah. Have we got Kenny Axe down? I've got Kenny. Have you got Mandy? Uh, I haven't. Uh, yes, there we go. Mandy. Then obviously, Lisa, will be, you have to change Lisa Harrison up or just no, leave it. I've, I've left it as wifey. Why, oh, you put it as wifey? I have, with a little love heart as well, I'll have you know. Well, what? Oh, hey. <sighs> Not there. No. Not That's there. Not... Hold on a second. One second. Sorry about these people. Give Debbie one job to do, but fuck the egg. I bet you she sat backstage giving you all the, the V's. She sat there, she's giving us this. <laughs> <laughs> that. No, there's nothing <laughs> I think you're already. I think you're already in. Has somebody accepted you? Hang on. I don't know. Oh, sorry, Mandy. Oh no, you're not. You're not in. Not Mandy, in. Mandy, you can be wifey too. Yes, of course, Shelley. You can have a love heart as well. I'm What's going to give Mandy one as well. Bloody hell! There we go. Everyone's uh, getting love hearts. I think you've. Um... Ask to join, sweetheart. You need to ask if you if, if you can do it. We'll keep an eye open, and um, we'll get Deb's one job to do. Do it. She might as well do something. She just sat there at the back in, in the back there. What? What's that? Are you are you saying hurry up? <laughs> Probably you can have a love heart as well. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Ian's saying she's in. She's in. Oh, right. Yeah. She's in. Oh, Ian must have accepted that. Well done, Ian, mate. Right. Okay. So, we're doing the custard cream one first. Now, then, when, when we spoke to the guys um, at Horizon, um, we were talking about the, the juices and obviously with the Eclipse range that we reviewed not so long since, um, which is a big seller for them. And they are expecting these to be big things as well. Um, what they did see it was, um, you give Wayne Leakes the ring of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kim uh, wants a love heart. Where, where are you? Where are you? Like, I'll walk on. You just keep quiet. You put us off me stride. So, what they did say to us was um, the juices that they are using, the concentrates, etc. Um, the 
uh, dessert range is from American finest um, concentrates on the juices, on the flavours, etc. So they're using the American ones on the desserts, which is what they did use on the Eclipse range. So that's the sort of standard. But what they what they what they've said is they are after quality instead of um, profit. So they have used. The, Opinion. They've gone for the finest juices that they can, they can um, concentrates that they can get to uh, bring up the ranges. The other ranges, which is the fruits um, and the tuck shop, um, are from Malaysian concentrates. So what they've done is obviously they've, they've looked at it and they've gone right. Okay, that doesn't the American concentrates don't fit with what we're after. So they've gone for the um, Malaysian ones. And the uh, spared no expense. This is what we've been told. So we will see. Are you into it already? Are you? The custard cream. I am. And then I'm giving everyone love hearts because they're all asking for them. <laughs> I've just had a finger test on that. That is actually quite nice. <laughs> that, custard cream. That's a strong custard cream, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm Did getting you, just a, a little bit of the biscuit. Yeah, a little bit of biscuit, cream, then the biscuit on the end again. Bloody hell, you up that for you? It's like a um, finger Mr. test. Jacob, I haven't got a feckin' clue what one of them is. <laughs> what? Please put, what I don't want one? a heart, I want a rhombus. <laughs> I am naturally blonde, you know. It's a dancer. Mm. Trotty, did you want to be on the wheel? Actually, I think Trotty's going to be stuck in these still. Oh, that smells lovely. One second. At the minute, Debbie, 21. Everyone wants a love heart now. Right, this has all got a love heart. I'll draw the one in a <laughs> 22, Debbie. You know something? I've never really fancied like a, a custard cream vape. Mm -hmm. I know some people go mental for it. Yeah. I've always thought that would be quite sickly. But that yeah. is a nice balance between the biscuit and the cream centre. I'm going to just uh, adjust me, yeah. Uh... That's it. Rectangle. Oh, getting a rectangle. Getting a oh. rectangle, Mr. Deacon. I've just started uh, burning a bit of that off. The smell. That is custard cream, isn't it? Yeah. I'm even going to go all out. And I'm going to make it a three-day one. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's actually really, really nice. I just had it bloody dry yet. Come on, I didn't put enough on. Parallelogram, is that one of them ones that go like on the, the, the kind of the drunk side? I'm a bit shit with like drawing. <laughs> Can I have a boob, please? Who's put that? I can't say who that is. Who's that? Who know. wants boobies? I don't know. It's I okay. really like that. Mm. It's different. That is a true custard biscuit, isn't it? Ah, Lisa. Oh, Lisa, you're being, you're being greedy now. You've got boobies and... Um, a love heart. 
ないか<笑> I'm pleasantly surprised at that. I'm surprised at the fact that it's not a sweet, sickly one. I'm going to go on to me, uh, I don't know what's happened. I'm getting a bloody dry hit off that. What are you using? Mesh? Yeah. yeah I'm using me, uh, me Hi, Cara. Right. Cara, we've only literally just started. Do you want to go on the way, love? No, Carl, you're not allowed. That is, you know, you, you know the custard creams that you get, you know, the, um, not the Asda ones, the Asda cheap ones. Like chosen by you. Yeah, well, the, the, the quality custard cream biscuits. Yeah. The, 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 the inside of the biscuit, the custard, the, the custard cream that's in there, that is absolutely spot on to that, isn't it? Yeah. The, the, the cream in it is really, really nice, but it's not too sweet or sickly like what I thought. No. Yeah. The custard cream vape would have been. I mean, I, I sit and eat biscuits all day long. That's my yeah. downfall. That's why I'm so bloody fat. Um, but for me, it's never appealed to us in an actual vape juice. And I think that's why I've never really bothered trying likes of that kind of flavour. But that yeah. one has really, really surprised me. Yeah. It's got that sweetness without being too sweet. Yeah. The well, biscuit's cool. just nice, mm. but not too in your face biscuit. No, it's more it's more of the inside of the custard cream biscuit that you mm. get that flavour with just a touch. <laughs> Can't get the smart price ones, Lee. The the, no, the, the smart price you ones. When you dump them in your coffee, they flop and fall apart. Yeah. Yeah, you want one. If you've got a dunk of custard cream, you want a one that sticks together and doesn't go yeah. blah. In yeah. your coffee, you go, oh shit. And, and then, then you're drinking your coffee and you get a head full and you're choking on the custard cream. Yeah, no, yeah. you don't want them ones. But... Or it just leaves a big slime in the bottom and you get a. Oh, no. <laughs> We've, all done it. We've all done it. I, yeah. I, I, I am. Really, really surprised at that. I, I do like it, and it's one that I would probably even go as far as to say I would buy it again as like a guilty pleasure nighttime treat kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, because I preferred me desserts like on a night time mm. and fruit and ice and menthol and that during the day, but that for me might even stop us reaching for the biscuit cupboard because <laughs> it's there the flavor's there <laughs> the only thing that's missing is a cup of coffee aye yeah the only thing that's missing is a cup of coffee so whether you have a coffee vape at the side so you have a vape of your custard cream mm. and then you your coffee you could be that that would be interesting yeah i, I tell you what for a custard i mean i think of Done a couple of like custard cream ones, and that is probably the best custard cream that I've had. I think several. I've only, I think I've only tried a couple in the past, mm. but they had a very kind of biscuity coffee type taste to it, as if like they've been dunked in a cup already. Whereas mm. that, it is literally like you're just getting a custard cream out of the packet and eating it. The biscuits not too OTT. Cream centre isn't too sweet or sickly to make you think, oh, God, I could only vape that for a little while. I think that one, they've kind of hit the nail pretty damn close to the head. Yeah. With that yeah. that yeah. is a really good custard cream. Um, I am surprised. Yeah. And I, I'm going to start by giving that one nine and a half. Yeah. It yeah. deserves it. It's a good vape that. It's definitely a good vape for the the dessert lovers who are looking for a, mm -hmm. a custard cream um, vape that is just like a, a very good custard cream biscuit. Oh, there's Carl saying that he had one before and it was just chemicals. 
there's been uh, I think we've only tried a couple haven't we yeah we haven't had any problems with them yeah but that one yeah that's that's spot on that one i can't fault that one I, 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 there's not, not a thing that i would do with it I, I don't even think i would like any more biscuit in it i think it's just perfect the way yeah. it is and any more it would take that creaminess away i think it would be ideal for me because your mother wouldn't get the biscuit smell and she wouldn't go mm -hmm. ballistic at us because yeah. she, the biscuit smells. I'm gonna get I'm I'm gonna start off with a nine and a half on that one. Yeah. I can't fault that one. Can't fault it yeah. at all. And I like, uh, I like that one. With the um I mean they've got all the languages on there's French, not that I can read it, or Spanish, Dutch, and, um and, and German. So there's a few languages. I don't know about Dunkable Cold, but I will probably drink that out of the bottle, to be fair. Even the smell when I'm burning the last bit oh, off. Just, it's just mm -hmm. nice. Right. So, let's do oh, another one. Do a draw. So, the next one is Lemon Slice. Oh, now that smells very lemony. That zesty lemon on the smell. Well, I Man, you do go ballistic. You kick him out in the garden. She does. She kicks us out in the garden. Oh wow! Oh, I want to see if you're getting the same. I've used a couple of lemons on there, different lemons. Oh, it smells really, really nice as well. Zingy lemon. But it's not a sucky, sucking cheap one. Let's get it on. Let's try it. That is just perfect. Yeah. I'm getting something a little extra as well, and I want to see if you get it as well. The bit, the, the the slice is sort of. There in the background, but it's it's sort of confusing us a little bit. I, I love that. Honestly, Aiden, that is a really, really nice lemon slice for you. But I am picking up a, a slight hint of something extra. Something extra there, but I cannot. I think they've used two types of lemons on it. I think there's a different two different types of lemon. Because you're getting that initial zingy lemon, but then you're getting like a, a, a lemon curd type lemon mm -hmm. but what i'm also getting more on the aftertaste the it's like the meringue peaks yeah that just very subtle hint of like meringue which is making us want to like lick me lips it's like homemade lemon meringue kind of thing but with not with a load of the meringue topping I'm getting a little bit of the cake. The cake is there in the background, comes in afterwards on the exhale. And the lemon on that. It gets yep. you a little lipstick in it. Yep. That is a really, really good lemon. I like that. I'm really fussy when it comes to desserts as well. Like, 
certain desserts I will be a little bit like, oh, no, mainly biscuity ones. Mm -hmm. But anything that's like too cakey as well that I'm a bit, mm. but that one, it's, I would say anyone that's more fruity, that's looking to offend you into desserts, that one would be perfect because the lemon on it is that little bit more of the prominent flavour than the cake side to it. It's not one of them sickly in-your-face desserts that you try and you just go, oh, fucking hell kind of thing, and it puts you off desserts for life. That is really nice. The more I'm going at it, the more the cake's coming through. It's the lemon on it for me. The lemon's just like, holy shit. But the lemon on it isn't as sucky in the cheeks, lemon. No, because you get that sing first and then it kind of, you get like the curd type lemon. Mm. Mm. Like the, the, you know when like you make like a, a, like a lemon meringue or like, like a lemon cake kind of thing, and you put that, what is it, like the gelatine lemon? Mm. Not quite jelly, but not quite jam. It, re mm. it really does remind us of that. Yeah. Oof, right. That, I wouldn't actually change. No. I like the balance between the lemon and the cake side. Mm. I like that little bit of the sweetness at the end on the aftertaste. It's making us want to keep going back, which is obviously a really good thing for a vape juice. The lemon mm -hmm. on it, they've definitely blended more than one lemon concentrate with that, but mm. it's blended good. Yeah, yeah, because you're getting the two, two types of lemons coming through, and now I'm getting the cake, which is like a dark cake that I'm getting. Mm. Yeah. To, uh, Again, don't think I'll change anything on that one. Would I buy it again? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's really nice that one. But I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big lemon, lemon. Tomorrow. Love a good fridge. Ian, what's with the fridge comments? What with the fridge comments, Ian? Because be careful, mate. I don't think you know what you're seeing. Yeah, well, there was a group going around before that was reporting other groups in the FAPE community and the key word that was, people knew was people selling fridges. No, I don't know whether you said last week about the fridge seal. But that's a word that that terminology we had be careful. Yeah, there was a bit hoo ha before about about, about that. Oh, yeah, with that one though. You know what you you were saying, but it's just everybody's wary of. Um, yeah. Coming. With that one, I personally I wouldn't change at all. That yeah. is a really really nice lemon slice for it. it's not too overpowering again on mm. the dessert cake side to it mm. i think it's more because the lemon's one of them where it's it's definitely there and it brings this like the sickliness of a dessert down for me mm. i wouldn't change that i really do rate that one I would definitely buy that one again i think i might even be investing in some tomorrow when we get over um I'm, I'm going to give it a 10. Yeah. I love it. I think I'm going to go just slightly lower than you. I'm going to see a nine. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether... Um... That's fine, Ian. Don't worry about it. Um, whether I'd like a little bit more of the lemon to come through. Well, that's just me. Oh, that's just me. Yeah, that's personal. Probably, yeah, because to me, it's kind of it's perfect for me. Hang on, there's something yeah, going we on. We will do, Shelley. 
we've got four unhappy faces and we've got people talking about fridge sales and that. Right, I can't see any unhappy faces. Yeah, I'm seeing it on the uh, on the top. So I'll find out who's put the unhappy faces on. Um, and we'll get that sorted. So if they come in to try and disrupt the live, then we shall see. Right, well. right anyway. All right, next one. Next one. Orange cream cake. Hang on, do you want to do um do a draw? Oh, yes, draw do one a draw. yes we'll do a draw and then right, Debbie, do you want to bring the um the wheel up? That's okay, Ian. That's okay, mate. No, no, there's uh, no need to stop the live, mate. We've um, we've got a handle on it. Uh, number six. Number six. Oh, hey. Guess who number six is? Uh, it could be anyone. <laughs> if I said the loon. Oh, Mr. Denton. Mr. Steve Denton. Oh, are you here, Mr. Denton? He better be. He better, he be. better be. No, no, Ian, don't leave me. No, no, no. I, I, I think that you don't know what... Yeah, what What had happened we'll, was... We'll, we'll explain, we'll explain. Yeah, Mr. what had happened about... What was it, Dad, about six, nine months ago? I don't think it was... was it was on Coastal Vapes and it was on Wholesale. There was people joined. Yeah. And there's a group who are called Cicopedia who yeah. go around and disrupt lives and say, I've heard there's a fridge sale here. Where's my fridge? Where's my fridge? Can I sell a fridge here? So every, obviously everybody is, is on a bit of a guard um, mm. as to um, when they see comments like fridge sales and freezers and whatever. So um, just so that you're he's, he's aware. No, I'm, I'm not here. <laughs> well done, Steve. Well done, Steve, mate. Well done. Yeah, it was one of the main yeah. things that um, people were like posting the lives into this certain group, Cicopedia or whatever it's called. And everyone, I mean, there was thousands and thousands of members. Everyone was jumping on to the live and they were reporting it. They were spamming it with like angry faces. They were basically doing anything that they possibly could to get the live like ripped down. Um, and that was like the key word that people would put in was fridge and fridge for sale and stuff like that so now kind of every vape group like all admins and mods are kind of on the lookout if they say that then they go oh shit hang on have we been posted in that stupid group that's now going to report and get the live took down and but hopefully i mean they wouldn't be able to do with ours anyway because it's closed but yeah. it's just a heads up. Obviously, when we kept seeing the comments of like fridges and freezers, it was a bit. Mm. So, yeah. so just just be just be aware. I mean, if you, if you go onto the whole live and start seeing that, they would probably boot you because. Mm. So they just, had a lot of lives took down because of that yeah. stupid bloody Cicopedia group. Yeah, and Mark Trot. I think Mark Trot was on a live one night when it happened um, on Coastal Vips. Um, and they got inundated with all these undesirable yeah. gaming and disrupted the life. So uh, it's not a problem, Ian. Just be aware, mate. I know you probably didn't know about it. A lot of people don't know about it, but that's what's been happening. Um, let's do another one. Let's have, yeah. let's have a moment. So it's, it's over, done with, and forget about And then let's we'll leave the final one for after the next couple. Yeah. Who's next? Who's the next? Who's the next lucky one? 
Oh, it's a little entry again. Number 15. Who is it now? Who's that backstage? Debbie will tell you to race spin, or she'll actually race spin herself. Yeah, she's in. Race spin. Yeah, so it was Debbie. Race spin it. <laughs> yeah, Lacey, and that he witnessed it on wholesale and VVS. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you fire back to them in comments, they get very sick and rude. Pure trolls, best to remove as soon as possible. Yeah. I know what Ian Eamon didn't mean anything by it, but it was just... When you say them words, you're on your guard. Lee said it. Mark said it. So, obviously, Ian didn't know about it. Um, and I think maybe a couple of others joined in. Just be careful, guys, because you could, if you were on some other lives, like the whole yeah, set, because they're on a page, um, Coastal are on a page, they would have, they would, they, they would, they would slaughter you because that's what this is about, mate. And it's, uh, it's been witnessed and it's happened. Poor Mark Trot on Coastal had happened to him. Um, yeah. On a, on a live. I like, I just want to know people do it. It's straight age. Right, it's number four. Number four? Number four? Is, and I hope that they're watching, you should probably be watching with Rob, Chrissy Hall. Oh. So is Chrissy is, Hall here? Hall here or Rob Hall? Hey, Rob Coles. I haven't seen either of them comment tonight. Oh, you're joking. I haven't. So, Chrissy Halls or Rob Coles, are you here? Mm. Let's see if, if she's here or Rob's here. Uh, I, hope, I hope she's here or Rob. No, they're normally like what? I, said, I haven't seen either of them comment tonight. Mm. Oh dear. Should we talk to start ten? Ten. <clears throat> ten. Nine. Eight. I did see on the post as well that they had to be watching, didn't it? Seven, yeah. Oh, man. Six. Five. Four. <laughs> I know how you feel, Lisa. <laughs> three. Two. One. No. Nah. Oh, race spins. Sorry, Chrissy. Aww. It is number eight. Number eight, the garden gate. Come on down, Mr. 180. <gasps> Neil Dudbridge. He is Neil watching, Dutch. but he's driving. Driving. So I'm no. not going to wait for his comment because I know that he's here, but he's driving. So he can't yeah. really text and drive at the same time. Yeah. He's taking his daughter back home, but he said he would be um, watching the live in, in the car. So uh, I'm sure I'm sure he's, he's still watching. Look, guys, he's driving. He did message us. He did say that he was going to be driving. He would be watching. He would be watching in the on the, on, on the live. We give him it. Does anybody... Oh, hey, hey, I've just pulled up at mine, pissing myself laughing. Wow, talk about time and well done, Neil. Well done, mate. Well done. Well done, Neil Dudbridge. Well done, Neil. <clears throat> Excellent. Well done. Yeah, he was. He was driving. He was taking his daughter back home. I knew that. So, um, but he's, he's, he's commented. So, well done, Neil. You have won yourself a bottle of perfect beer. So let's get on and we will do maybe two more and then we'll do another draw. 
Yeah, sorry. Right, so um, orange, orange cake, yeah. Uh, orange cream cake, yes. Orange cream cake, so. Let's have a... Let's have a smell. I'm really looking forward to this one. Wow. Oh. That's like a mandarin orange. Yeah. That wasn't what I was expecting, I will say that. Wow, the orange. But I think it'll do down on the vape. It just, like, explodes the flavour. Yeah. Then I'm getting the cake. There we go. Oh. That is definitely like a like a mandarin style orange as you see. It hasn't dulled down a lot on the vape. Oh, I think it has. The flavor. Oh no, I'm still getting a massive burst of orange flavor. Again, it's very much like the custard cream and the lemon slice where the cake isn't isn't like massively in your face, like sickly. Mm. It's actually blended again really nice. Cause normal like normally cakey flavours, I'm a bit if they're too in your face cake, then I'm like, no, it's too much Ooh. for it. Again, is it to me? I'm getting like a rich dark cake with the orange. I'm getting. I might you, be wrong. You know what's missing for me? The chocolate, and it will be a Jaffa cake. Are you? Could be completely wrong. There's something in the background. It's like it's got a tiny hint. You know when you do like a fruit cake mm -hmm. and you put like that brandy in? Mm. It's got like that warming. So it's there. But it's, I don't know, it's not. Yeah, it's like one of them them warm cakes, you know, like your, um, you know, like your ginger cake sort of. Yeah. With the, with, with the orange. You know, the McVitie's, you know, the in the green packets. Yes, the, um, that one's the syrup one, though, isn't it? Mm. But that type of sponge. Def there's definitely something in the background where it makes it as if it's being made the same way as like a Christmas cake with just a very subtle hint of like a a liqueur mm -hmm. type thing, the taste for me. The, like the orange liqueur sort of thing. Yeah. I like that one. It's unusual. Mm. I was expecting like a, a Terry's chocolate orange type cake kind of thing when I say an orange cake. But yeah, I do like that. Mm. The cake is definitely rich. It's a rich cake on it, yeah. Mm. I, I, I'm, I'm, I would liken it to a, a rich dark cake and then the orange with the orange. Yeah. First, and then on the exhale, I'm getting the cake comes through. 
it's definitely got something hiding in the background and to me it does make us feel like it's been like if you can imagine making the cake pouring like a couple of teaspoons of like a, a, a brandy or like an orange liqueur type flavoring into it mm. it's a rich warm moist cake with that mandarin orange type flavor mm. Mm. It, it is nice, well, but I would, would you say that's more for the dessert lovers? Yes, more for the dessert lovers. You've got to be a dessert mm. lover that loves a dessert and loves your cakes because that yeah. is, for me, it's predominantly more cake. It's a rich, dark cake I'm getting, obviously, because of the way the orange is blended into it and probably the wattage that I'm going at. It's probably giving you that warm cake, mm. uh, dark, rich cake feeling. Would I, would I buy it again? Yeah. I think I would, to be fair. Mm. But it's, it, that one for me is one that I would only feel like on an RDA for an hour or so, again, on a night time. Yeah. Because it is a very rich flavour. Rich um, flavour. But the flavour of it is lovely. It's just missing... Warm custard kind of thing. That's, that's all it's missing for me is like a, a dollop of warm custard. Um, mm. I'm I'm going to give that one a nine. I'm going to join you with that one. We're a nine. Yeah. Yeah, I do yeah. like it. It's just yeah. I don't know. It's it, it's definitely one for the dessert lovers. Oh, you've got your, your two new folks oh. angry all the years. Hey. We're ready yet. We'll get on a um, on a call and I'll show you how to uh, set them up. It's easy peasy, easy peasy, mate. Right. <gasps> right. Next one. Salted well, we've already, we've already had a cheeky finger of this one. We had a finger test of this one, didn't we? I drink that one. Wow. Salted caramel profiteroles. I know obviously the yeah, uh, the vape will be different, but on the um finger test, real hit of holy caramel. crap when you smell it. Smell it when you're burning off the excess. Ooh. I think I'll just like Gone to fear, Pevin. I will say, this is definitely dessert. It is definitely one for the dessert lovers. It's not one for going from fruits to dessert. It is an in your face. Salt of caramel on that's beautiful. Yeah, the salt of caramel on the vape has really, really dulled down. I'm glad about that because on the finger test, it was like, wow. On the vape, you're actually getting like the shoe pastry and the cream filling of the profiterole. It is, if you can imagine getting like a pyramid of profiteroles and mm -hmm. rather than chocolate sauce over the top, you've poured salted caramel over the top. Yeah. It's that. There's just no mistake in it. And for me, it is like heaven in a vape. <laughs> I fucking love this one. Yeah. There's garlic and when you drip one RDA, it's best to burn off the excess. Not necessarily, mate. Um, you get what's going on. We do because if you don't burn it off, you get a mixture of what you've had and what you're putting on. 
so it can distort it so until it's all burnt off you don't get the real um flavor but i tell you what dessert lovers if you like your salted caramel toffee it's i don't know how they've managed to do it but they've get in the creamy filling and the actual shoe pastry of a perfect roll. Yeah. How on earth have managed to get it to the point where it feels like I've eaten a plate of perfect rolls with the salted caramel sauce drizzled over? You get the, you, you get the, the salted caramel first on the in the L, XL. You get the perfect roll. But then the salt of caramel comes back in. That's what I'm getting. I don't know about you. To me, I would, I, I would literally sit on that one constant. Normally, I only do my desserts on a night time. But that one, it hits the sweet spot, but not sickly like you would imagine with the salted caramel and with a profiterole vape, because you think cream and that, and then salted caramel, you, you're you going to go, oh, God, that's going to be, like, too much sweet and sickly. It's not, it's it's not. a sickly caramel. I oh, think with the, a cup of tea. Caramel takes the sweetness away, so you're getting... It's more like, a, you know, like the creme brulee. Salted caramel. Yeah. That is, for me, heaven in a vape for dessert. That, with a nice cup of tea, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy. Mm. I will be happy with that. Nice I, cup of tea and just sitting puffing away. I'm would not, you change anything? Would you buy it again? I wouldn't change anything. I'll buy it again. Um... I don't know if I could go a full day on it, though. I think I could manage three quarters, definitely. Mm. Um, but at the moment, you know, it's like you like swapping about, swapping about, don't you? But just for review purposes, it's 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 just there, isn't it? Really, score wise, I couldn't, I wouldn't change anything on it. Um, I like the the level of the caramel, the sort of caramel on it. And then the profiterole, you know, the, the, the creamy shoe pastry that comes in. It's not a, one of the cakey pastries, you know, like you, yeah. some, it's a cake. It's not a cake. It's you, you, you sort of getting the shoe bun sort of taste to it with the caramel. I you think with a profiterole, it's only a very light, like, pastry lining, then mm. it's full of cream, isn't it? So it's kind of... Or it's you would expect it to be very sickly. And whatever. Well, I wouldn't change anything on it. I don't know what would take it to that extra level. I don't think there's anything that would. For me, I mean, it's. But obviously, this is right down my street, that one. Yeah. Um, it's my sort of flavour profile. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, for me, oh, it's a difficult one between the custard cream and this one. Yeah, but you're scoring that one for what it is. For what it is, yeah. I'm going to give that one, I'm going to say that one a 10. Yeah. For me, personally. But that's my personal preferences. And I love me, I love me puddings and I love me cakes. And I love me desserts, you know. So, and I love toffee. And if you get a good toffee, it is good. Yeah. If you get a bad one, it's, it can be. It can taste a bit like burned coffee mm. on the bottom of your coffee cup, kind of. But what? Yeah. But that salt of caramel on there is just, it's just right. It's it? spot on. For me, I would happily sit and feed that one from morning till night. That with a cup of tea and I'm happy. Mm. That, the, the, the salted caramel on it, it isn't overpowering. It is, it literally reminds us if you've got a bowl of profiteroles, you've got more profiteroles than what you have, the sauce that you like squirt on the top. 
for me, it's a perfect balance between the two. You're getting the creamy centre of the perfetta roll. You're mm-hmm. actually getting that choux pastry as well. And then the hot sauce that's been drizzled over the top. I mean, mouth is actually watering off it. Um, I wouldn't change it at all. I would not change that in the slightest. Uh, I'm in love with that one, and I'm giving it a 10. Right. That is probably one of, if not, the best dessert that I've come across. Wow. I love that. It is literally what it says on the label, but it's not to the point of wanting to change your juice either. Like, I, I would stay on that one until the bottle was empty. Right. Do you want to do the next one or do you want to do the final draw? Uh, do the next one. We'll do forest fruit. Forest fruit gato. Well, we will see how we did have a cheeky finger test on this one as well. And I think Mr. Trotz had a cheeky finger test on it as well. Um, when I was on his live the other day. It's, oh, it, it's the um, other draw, Debbie. It's the last one for the bottle from Horizon. It's not the Whale of Kipper. Oh, she's got to go. Oh, great. Do the draw because Shelley yeah, might Yeah, we'll have... do the draw for Shelley for the Horizon. <sighs> Bring the Whale up, Debs, just in case Shelley comes out. We'll get for it to miss out. So our last winner for this draw is, please be here, please be here, number 17. He's here, I'm sure he is. He's normally first in. Pete. Is it? Pete and TC in. Are you still here? Are you here, here, Pete? You know what would actually make that salted caramel um, fit roll better? What's that? If it came in salt. Uh, <laughs> he, 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 uh, or has he, has he, has he fell asleep? I think he's been on night shifts, hasn't he? Is he, yeah? He's probably on a ban. He's probably on a ban. He's probably on a pooper. That's where he probably is. <laughs> He should have. He should have took me bloody forward him. I know he was here earlier on. Pete. Pete. If we all shout, should we wake him up? Pete. Pete, wake up! You yeah, melt. Pete. Oh, we're gonna to have to start the countdown, Pete. No, I haven't either, Matt. That's what I'm thinking. He might have fell asleep. He'd probably fell asleep. Melt. What's he like? Right. I've seen him put a post up at like five o'clock this morning. Mm. <clears throat> Pete NT here. <laughs> yeah, Pete not here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. He is on the wheel of Kipper as well. Let's start to come down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Eight. Pete. <laughs> Seven for Pete's sake. Pete! Six. <laughs> five. <laughs> four. Pete! Three. Go back. Two. Pete! One. Sugar lumps. Go on, tag him. Now, when he comes in, we'll see it. Well done, Pete. You managed to lose your prize for fuck's sake. Pete, yeah, for fuck's sake, Pete. Right. One Dead. job, one job, Dead. Pete. One. Be awake. <laughs> tag him, tag him, Pete. Tag him. Tag him. No, don't be mean. <laughs> That's horrible. Ooh, Number look. nine. Oh, for fuck's sake, never. Who is it now? Monkey! Monkey! Are you there, Monkey! <laughs> Monkey! He better be. He's coming doing the big boozle thingies. Monkey! Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Lynch! Wayne, are you there, Wayne? There's Carl, see his Pete and DC in your melt. 
Everyone's tagging him. Bless him. He's going to come on and go. But what's what? everyone tagging us for? What are you tagging us for? I'm here. Yay. Well done, Wayne. Well done, Wayne. So our five winners are Greg Webb, Steve Denton, Neil Dudridge, Wayne Leach, and Carl Henson. Oh, Pete. 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 You turned in. Yeah. Hey, you were too Pete. late. Pete, Pete, we, yeah. we, we, we were shouting of you and everything, and we'd done a slow countdown, and it was Pete. Where are you, Pete? Oh, Come back. Yeah. We're on the pooper, Pete. You <laughs> pooper, Pete. <laughs> yeah, for fuck's sake, Pete. <laughs> you missed out, unfortunately, honey. Oh, oh he's at work. Oh, 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 man. oh thanks, Shelley. Stay safe, safe, darling. We know that when you when we do the wheel of kit, if you can pick your phone up at work, we'll, if you come out, we'll tag you, mate. Now that we know that you're at work, we thought that you'd fell asleep. Yeah, we thought you got on the pooper. We thought you were on the pooper. <laughs> right, Thanks. so. Forest fruit gato. Fruit gato. Say, Pete, that's karma for calling me old, you minge boy. <laughs> now, Trotty did a finger test on this on his live yesterday. And he did. Uh, wow. Yeah. Even the smell of it. You know what's missing? A bowl of ice cream, so I can just just lad over the ice cream. Wow. That is literally just what it says again. Forest fruit that one. But on this one, you know the like the, the cherry is a compote or whatever they call it. That's normally on the top of a forest throat ghetto with the lumps of like cherry and black yeah, currants like a, and stuff. The black cherry, uh, cherry. Yeah, to me, it's got that kind of like cherry kind of brandy as well. You're getting the cream, you're getting that compote. It's again. What it says on the label. Mark, have you faped it yet? Or have you just done the, the finger test? Wow. Mark, tell us you've vaped it, please, mate. Yeah. It is, Matt. Think we're not alive is against Facebook rules. <laughs> I am literally getting every layer of like the Black Forest Gut or cake. You've got that chocolatey sponge. You've got the the dark compote fruit mix and the cream as well. It is. You just carry on it. Yep. You just carry on. It's on the side for tomorrow morning. I haven't put the cider down yet. I really want to try the cider ones. Honestly, guys, when we see it, it's like putting a fork into one of the cakes and taking a bite. It is. Mm. Even the aftertaste. There's no other way of describing it apart from Black Forest Gat or cake. If you like that cake, that is it in a vape. 
that's better than M&S. Black Forest Gatto, that. That's premium Forest Gatto. And now I can understand, because we only had a finger test in the shop. And even on the finger test and the smell of it, when you open the bottle, you go, holy shit, kind of thing. But on the vape, this is our first time actually trying the vape of it. I can now see why the guys were saying that this is the best seller out yeah. of this range. Mm. Wow. There's no other way of putting it, but that is literally Black Forest Gat or Cape in a vape. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You're getting every layer of that cake. You're getting the, the chocolate sponge, you're getting the, the cream, you're getting the likes of the dark fruit compote, <laughs> even to like the cream peaks on the top of it. It's lovely. <laughs> yes, exactly, Carl. It's not just fake juice, it's perfect for your juice. The guys, yeah. I know when we went in, they did say that they'd been in production with these for quite some time. I think since last expo. Yeah. Like October last year. Um, so they've kind of they've mm -hmm. getting them to the point where they need damn, if not perfect, because they were wanting to put these in for the e-cig awards as well with the, the, the Vapor Expo. Yeah. Obviously with COVID and stuff. Um it's kind of screwed them over a bit. But that one, wow. Oh, we finished talking. I'm just, I'm just enjoying myself. Yeah, I'm letting you. Go. Come on. The funny how you never see to him sideways when he's eating the bean booze. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I'm going to see at? 10. 11. It's just that nice. It's just really, 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 really nice. Anybody yeah. who, who's after a, like a Black Forest Gatto with the cherries, as Dawn said, the um, the compote on the top, the mixed berries on the top, the, you know, how it all blends in together and then you're getting the, um, the cake on it. But it's predominantly the fruit than the cake afterwards. And it's just a, a, a forest fruit gatto in it. It's, it's a bit like the, the, the black forest gatto. Um, I mean, they don't see a black forest, but they just see a fruit gatto. Um, forest fruit gatto, oh, yeah. Wow. Alex, you'd love it. You, Alex, you would absolutely love it. Oh. Anybody who loves the desserts and the forest <laughs> and the gatto. Yeah, gatto. that's actually stopped you waffling. Everyone's it, surprised. Everyone's like, Jesus, it's actually stopped Dave waffling. It's that nice. It, it is. really is. It it, is. Honestly, yeah. we're not just saying it. To be honest, I'm I'm the same as Dad. I would literally, I would rate that one the top. Now, if the guys over at Horizon do put these in for awards, well, I'm guaranteed that one will win, hands down, in the dessert range, because oh. that is just unreal. Mm. That is a really good Black Forest Gat or cake mm. in a vape, but without the calories. <laughs> Lee thought his headphones had broke. <laughs> Uh, I think if I had a pick between all of them, that one would be the one that I would probably buy like three or four bottles of mm. Mm. because it is so nice. And again, you think Black Forest got all kind of vape, you would think that it would get sickly, but it's it's not. No, no. They're not oversweet, these juices. Right. I'm looking forward to the last one. Last one, Cherry Bakewell. And then we'll get um, Mr. Lee John. So, Debs, I don't know if you want to get ready to send Wayne the um, the link. 
cherry, be it well. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can I drink this one? <laughs> wow. Oh. Even down to the marzipan. Weird to weird to be a bit holy shit. Any more? <sighs> this is gonna be a really hard one now to be fair. Especially after trying this one as well. Getting that marzipan flavour as well. The cherry. Like the, 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 the soft base. That's like I've literally took a bite out of a Mr. Kipling's cherry beer well. On the end, you're getting the marzipan. Yep. I think the marzipan was what we got as a wow. Yeah. Best. You know the um the white ice on top of a cherry bake well. I'm getting that like at the very end as well, where it's making us again smack me lips. Mm. And then, then, then the marzipan comes in. Mm -hmm. You're getting the cherry first. Not, not a lot of um, cake. No, but that's a good thing, though. Yeah. Because you think with a cherry bake well, say for instance, like of the Mister Kipling ones, the base is very thin. Yeah. The marzipan but, and the cherry is... Getting the cherry, a little bit of the cherry, a little bit of the icing, but then predominantly you get marzipan. Yeah. So you're getting all three of that coming in as though you're biting down through the layers. To yeah. Get the initial cherry, though, is really, really nice. Yeah, I'm so kind of wanting that cherry to stay. This yeah. is this is what it's doing. It was I'm wanting that cherry flavour that little bit more because mm. it's there. It's a strong cherry, and then all of a sudden that marzipan kicks in, and it's like I want that cherry back. So it's making us want to keep. It's one of them ones that I wouldn't be able to put down. I don't think. Again, though, it's not in your face cakey. No. But because of the marzipan, mm -hmm. I've got a feeling that this would kind of be a bit like a marmite flavour for a lot of people because there's a lot of people that don't like marzipan. Yeah, the marzipan can sometimes... Yeah. Not and this is, but what I'm going to say here is sometimes I've had in the past, I've had cherry bake wells, and the marzipan bit is tasted very chemically. Yes, yeah, it's tasted unnatural, like a chemical sort of taste, and it's like, mm. yeah, no, that is marzipan. That is like mm. Mr. Kipling cherry bake well. <sighs> I'm gonna say that's that, 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 that is the best cherry bake well that I've had. Yeah. I've had a few, I've had a few, but that has got to be up there with, with the best. That's probably one of the best that I've had on a cherry bake well. 
I'm going to agree with you as well because no, I'm getting a little bit of cherry on the bottom of my throat, but the, 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 on my tongue, it's the it's the, it's the marzipan, yeah, and the pan and the cake mixing together. It just makes you salivate. That is a bloody good cherry bake, well. Oh, that right. is a very very good one. What were you <clears> on school wise then? Oh. Uh... I'm going to be a, I want that cherry to stay a little bit longer before yeah. the marzipan kicks in. Yeah. Because the cherry on that first initial hit is like, wow. It is like a full on flavor of just cherry and it's beautiful. But then the marzipan comes in very quickly and takes the full cherry flavor away from me. Mm. I would like a little bit more of the cherry the cake isn't too much it's not too in your face it, for me again a beginner dessert on that one mm -hmm. but very much a marmite flavor because of the marzipan yeah i like it i really do like it but it's just lacking that longer taste of cherry for me yeah because so I mean, i'm cherry lover i'm a cherry lover yeah i'm gonna give that one a nine it's very good Mm. I just wish that that cherry flavour would last that little bit longer. Mm. I'm going to go a little bit higher than you. I'm going to say a nine and a half. And to take it to that ten, I would have liked a little bit more, the, or, or the cherry to last that little bit longer on it. Yeah, because the but, initial flavour of the cherry, did you get like quite a, like, wow, cherry? And then all of a sudden it was like the marzipan, mm, which is yeah. not bad. And the marzipan... But well, predominantly marzipan, then a little bit of cake, but then the marzipan took marzipan yeah. took off, um, and then left you with the, the with the with the taste of the marzipan and the cake, <sighs> which is if if you were eating a cherry bread, well, that's the way you would get it. I know, but I want that little bit more cherry, just that little bit more, not like more cherry flavour as such, just for it to last that bit longer because the cherry on it is bloody mouth watering. It's lovely. But as yeah. soon as the flavour kind of goes, because the marzipan obviously kicks in and the cake flavour kicks in, it's kind of, I want that cherry back. <laughs> you get more of it, so then you end up buying more bottles. So yes, that's what they've done. That's what they've done. Um, I'm, going to go <clears throat> I'm going to give that one nine and a half on that one. Right, so have you put them in order? Because I believe Neil is waiting on to see which one's my favourite. <laughs> right, right. Favourite, number one, Forest Fruit Gatto. Forest Fruit Gatto for me as well. Number two, Cherry Bakewell. Oh, my number two is Salted Caramel. To me, them two was a, a level number one. Uh, for my third one, is Salted Caramel Profiterole. Mine's cherry beer, well. Fourth, custard cream. My fourth is lemon slice. Oh. Five, lemon slice. My five is custard cream. <laughs> and last but not least is the orange cream cake. Orange cream cake. But, it, I mean, on the... Um, the top three was very different. Well, the, the, the top one was a no brainer for me. Yeah. The, 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 can, the top two for me was very, very, very close. In fact, second, third, and fourth to me was very close. It could have been either we or them. Yeah. You know, for being. But if, like so tomorrow, we're going over at the shop. Hmm. So if I was to walk into the shop, I now know that I am going straight for forest fruit. Yeah. And the salted caramel. Yeah. I know that them are the two that I would be like, give me all the bottles that you've got on your shelf and what you've got out the back as well. Because <laughs> they are bloody good. They're lovely. Bloody loads, I tell you, out the back and that. And, and I don't know how they've managed to get literally like... Like to the forest fruit, it is like a slice of the cake in the layers as well, just into a vape. And then the salted caramel profit roll, that, to get a profit roll in a vape, that's got to be hard. No, Neil. 
you're mm-hmm. getting you're getting your bottle mid. Yes, you I want you to try. I want you to try yeah, them. Yeah. Honestly. The idea is the members try, the members like, and the members buy. That's our motto. So yeah. Mid, you are definitely getting your bottle. Plus, because of the offer that they've got in store only and yeah. the VIP card, I'm laughing because really I would get three bottles with my VIP card for 18 quid in store or three of the bigger bottles, 100ml bottles for 27 quid. Well, so, I, would, I would love for Neil to be able to try um, them because they are really nice. As your mum said, Neil is a, he's a true gent. I mean, he's, he's he is, bless him. Old, on many occasions and um, on the, the the bullseye nights and whatever, so we will, oh, he's uh, awesome. Lovely, lovely, lovely gesture, mate. But no, mate. I mean, Dawn won one, and she gave it. Yeah, I, I think know. I was first out as well. I was first yeah. winner. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. let the members have it. <laughs> no, always is that the members get and whatever we get, we give to the members. So, right, without further ado, oh, bless. Look who's backstage. Neil's, <laughs> Neil's put that he's not taking no for an answer by the looks of it. I will speak to you after. Yeah, we'll speak after, mate. We'll speak after. Uh, good evening, Mr. Burning Ring of Fire. Good evening. So, uh, uh, are you no longer Monkey Vegas? You're now known as um, Johnny Cash. I'll be going to there uh, very shortly. Right, well, what we'll do is we'll, um, if they brings up the wheel, so <laughs> I think we've got a few more words tonight. I think everybody's heard, them pair of melts have decided to do the Bring Brew Fiery Five Challenge and the yes. Chili Challenge. Yes, is so, mental. I had a thing about it, Will, and this is the way it would work. If we, if we, if, if I kip us somebody, right? We will ask the people, do they want us to do a bean or do they want us to do a chocolate? Yeah? If it's a chocolate, and I'll tell you what, they look fucking big chocolates, them. <laughs> they have never thing. followed you before. Don't follow him out. Never followed you before. These is big chocolates. If we pick a chocolate, we've got to do the chocolate, but... Get milk ready, not water. Oh shit, I've already got water. Come on! Are you still watching British <laughs> Milk? Oh, please! You seriously, when you shout with me, Mum, you sound so much like Ozzy Osbourne. Oh dear. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wish I had his money. Yeah. So if we do it, if we do a chocolate, we can't chew it. We've got to suck it until it's gone. And no drinking. <laughs> you know that I prefer Pete's comment. Milk kills it, so no. Yeah, no milk. No, no milk allowed. Both at the same time. I want to see you sweating. I want to see the beads of sweat running down. If we, if, if we get picked to do the thing, we we'll just dip in the packet and it's, it's potluck as to what we get. Yeah. And what we've got to do is we've got to chew it. They're really small, so <laughs> I would say we chew it for 15 seconds minimum before we swallow. 20 seconds. Don't, don't give him milk. Mum, do not give him milk. No, take it yeah, back. you soft cock. All right, for afterwards. Back. For afterwards. I'll not drink the milk. It'll be for afterwards when I'm crying. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be over spilt milk. <laughs> We've got to chill for 15 seconds, yeah? Yeah. Ian, the candles on his birthday kit would burn the fucking house down. Mount that's on there. Yeah. But Dawn would count it down, yeah? Dawn would, would be the timekeeper, would you, Dawn? Of no, course, no. yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> She'll drag it out. I won, I promise. It'll be like one. Two. <laughs> 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 
On <laughs> eating it, or eating the bean, on the on the on the chocolate, we've just got to suck it until it disappears. Yeah, yeah. No every, now, every few seconds, get it on your tongue and just like so we can say how much has it got left. Yeah. Okay. Mind you, we might not be able to get our go our tongues out of our go. My mum says before, before the wheel, do a chocolate. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ian says, give Mama Bear a sloppy kiss. <laughs> She's going to get French tonight, I tell you. That's the, that's the size of them. That's all right. That's like a, um, a giant chocolate button. Yeah. Do they yeah, smell them? Open the bag up and smell them. I haven't opened them yet. Well, Wayne's just opened these. Like, yeah, After having these, Dave, my arsehole's going to look like a chocolate button. <laughs> Dad doesn't look impressed by the smell. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, whatever you do, after you've touched them, don't rub your eyes. Or go for a wee. <laughs> Wash your hands. <laughs> oh, you smell the beans. I've just opened them now. Oh, oh. it's at that moment. You fucked up. <laughs> Alex has said, go for a piss sitting down for the next day or two. Don't risk it. <laughs> I always stare at this one. Uh, oh, that's... that's a it from smells the like one. it. Stay away from the red one. I'm not touching them. Don't touch them because you might not be able to... Um, don't... don't. Touch your eyes. I've got glasses you on. that one? Oh, I've just thought. You're doing these. I've mm -hmm. got to sit in the fucking car with you and I've got eyes there. <laughs> you shit yourself and I am leaving you. You fart in the car and I am going to fucking kill you. Right. It's... Let's get the wheel up, Dave. Let's see you with me. See if I can. Are you, I, I, I tell you what, I hope you don't kick everybody in the end. I'm regretting doing this now, man. Honestly, yeah. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's nice. Come on, Dave, get away. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be kicked? Don't let us kill you, for fuck's sake. Everyone's like, I don't give a shit. I don't want to win nothing. I want to see you eat these. <sighs> Oh, it's a late one. It's a late comma. Oh, 22. <laughs> book, 22. It's only Trotty. <laughs> Can you say that? Trotty, do you want to come on with us, mate? Trotty. He'd be like, he'd be like, I want to go. Please, keep with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't forget, don't forget, I've got the roll over bag as well. I've got the roll over bag. I don't think they want the roll over bag. <laughs> so, Trotty, are you coming on with us or have you got to shout out your numbers? Oh, oh dear. And that's before you've started. I know. Mark's got to come live with us. He's got a. He normally does. Send him the link, Dave. Send him the links. Oh, he can't tonight. Sorry. What? Are you in the bath? Are you rubbing your gonads in the bath? Oh, Dad, man. He's probably, he's probably out having, a, having a, a, a 32 inch steak again, like he did the other week. Right. <laughs> come on and try. What do you want? You want the first spin, second spin, or third spin? Yeah, Dave and Wayne's going to have to trust. <laughs> Just be just behind me. There's a freezer, and I've got two bog rolls in it. <laughs> Come on, second spin. 
Come on, Charlie, win. What a move for then a win. Yep. I think everyone would agree with us when we turn around and say we would love to see a lose. <laughs> Just for this occasion. Oh, not a win. Right. A win this time. I'm talking to the win. Go on. Drop in the win. See a win for fuck it. I'm going to lose. 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 No. Lose. Lose. Stop. 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 <laughs> Trotty, I'm sorry, but I think we're in agreement. We wanted to lose. <laughs> well, your mum's just calling for us. I'll be back in about 15 minutes. No, you're not. No, you're not. You stay right there and you take your fucking punishment. Oh, my God. Right, so kid. Trotty, <coughs> we know we keep with you. <laughs> good news. I don't have to do it. Because technically, I haven't kippered him. It's you. Oh no, 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 no! It's a joint kipper. Yes, yes, yes. Kipper. No, it's a joint kipper. Hang on, so, wasn't it your idea? Yes, it was Wayne's idea. The melt. Mm -hmm. It were you. You sent no, me to you. him. It was you. You, you, you. Ah, <laughs> 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 man, the pair of years you put the melts. Best result in weeks, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. No, Mark, would you like them to eat a piece of chocolate or would you like them to eat a bean? So it's just a Remember, random water could be anything. In the yeah, the, the beans are in five peach yeah. drinks. But Mark, because you're starting off, I would create a bean here. Beans. Let me check them up. It could be okay. The beans, the chocolates are a bit too brutal, man. Don't go for the chocolate, Mark. Please, man. <laughs> Don't go for the chocolate. <laughs> yeah, monkeys don't like chocolate. Like <laughs> monkeys say monkey do from one monkey to another. Trick. Not chocolate, Mark. Come on, Please. try. What do you want to say then? Cry over. He says chocolate. I'm not I'm not approving his, his next pause when he's selling. Uh, there you go. You can piss off. No, no, it's only one bean. One bean. <laughs> one yes, bean. devil's tall. Is that the lollipop, Kenny? I've seen that. That looks brutal. Yeah. A tattooist, I shit you not, this tattooist that I watched eating it, he was like proper beefed up and he sat there and he was crying with it. Right. When he said chocolate. So we've got to Don't get him out loud, chew it. Don't 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 chew it. Look at the size of that. What's that? Look at it. Look at it. Look at the It's even got the bloody Carolina bloody things in the end of it, I think. Well, leave them in. It looks like Don't one of your armpit bollocks. It does. <laughs> it's kind of explored. I've got an extra bit. That's not fair. I'll just eat it. Go right. on, get something. Here we go. Three, two, one. Fuck you, then my tongue's gone numb. Oh, 
fuck yeah. <laughs> At one point, just sat there and went. As soon as you start sucking it, <laughs> that's it. Oh. Is it what? Oh, God. If you look like a baboon's ass. I'm fucking crying. I'm going to get I've got hiccups, I've got stuck in doors. I have. Fuck. I don't know, we've got any fucking ice cubes. I've been fucking ending my tongue in fucking. <laughs> all I can say, Dave, all them times you've kippered me, payback is sweet. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Rub your tongue on top of your mouth, Dave. Oh, I'm fucking going to go and fight me. <laughs> Oh, fuck's it. I'm going to stop that. Oh, fucking all my ribs are starting. I've got fucking bogeys having done with it now. Oh. <laughs> fucking hell, that was hot. <laughs> oh, I, don't think, I didn't think I would have picked you that bad. You sitting there, you fucking fin to lose and everything when we go to India. <laughs> That's got to be fucking oh, hot. Shit. Oh, my fucking jaw is like... <laughs> <sighs> fucking hell. Yeah, try and have a beer. Uh, <laughs> I uh, think it's a tissue, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <sighs> oh, fuck. I'm going to have a drink of water. <laughs> water makes it worse. Does it? <laughs> it's your... <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, have a been to hide the tears? <laughs> oh. Fucking teeth and a uh, uh, fucking ear. Send me two. Fuck sick. Wow. Hey, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, I thought Weird Ties was just going to go like, you know, like out of the mask, like, boom. <laughs> ah, my fucking tongue is still born. I'm, I'm sorry, but I've got to have milk. Yeah, don't give yourself heart attack. <laughs> if I was just asking you what chili for Putting your tongue in the milk and cool it down. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> Can't be that hot. I'm going to bring one round for you tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck off. No chance. I, I might look fucking stupid, but I'm not fucking stupid. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Guess what as well? No, I'm only doing one killer. Fucking hell. Oh, my gob's on funny tongue. Fucking burning. Sucking is a bad idea. What? Did you read the packet? Please use with extreme care. <laughs> Avoid contact with eyes and sensitive skin. I've just found out my fucking tongue is sensitive. <laughs> oh, oh God. wow. Um, we'll not <laughs> suck them anymore, Wayne. If we get another one, we'll fucking chew them. 
Oh. oh god. Right, do you want to bring the next one up? Oh my god. Oh fucking hell. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My mum's comment though, do you want chilli for tea tomorrow? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Salad. <laughs> Salad. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> Give me five minutes and it will calm down. I fucking hope so. Enjoy oh. your next shit, Dave. If we've got to do a chocolate we we but we, we chew it. I kind of shook that for that long again. That was horrendous. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Next <laughs> lucky member. <laughs> oh, God. Number 12, is it? <laughs> I really hope he's still here. My eyes is watering. <laughs> Greg Webb. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's going to see a chocolate, isn't he? It, it, the melt, he'll see a chocolate. <sighs> oh, Greg. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Trotty's saying if you chew it, you'll get it stuck in your teeth. I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll be later, Dave. Yeah, I will. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bite my mouth and swallow. Oh. I've given myself a headache of bright laughing. Greg's here. I think Greg just does it in um, comments, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God, I've got it here. Greg, do you like being a moderator? <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> Be nice to him. Come on then, Greg. Oh, God, my eyes are bloody watering still. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> What's it like to have a vape after it? Worse. It's worse. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> Greg would like the second spin. It is actually. It does bring him back up here. Oh, I don't think my head can handle. Next time you have a bright idea, put me in office, will you? Come on, Greg. Come on, Greg. Lose, then win. Exactly, Trotty. Exactly. The bag could be his full contents of the Watt Cave, and I still think that, that was bad. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, oh, come on, Put us out of the agony. Oh, you see it. You yes. see it for now. You see it for now. <laughs> he's on the. He's on the. He's on the. He's on the on the road to um the wind. So, do you want the first, the second, or the third spin? Fuck! I've got to snot your nose. These days, yeah. My eyes are watering still. I can't, I guess, and rub them in case I've got them on my bloody finger. <laughs> oh. Don't burp, Win. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my fucking head. Second spin again. <laughs> Dave, you don't realise, Dave, there's about another 30 of these in a the bag. I fucking know there is, mate, yeah. 
Oh, get a loose. Keep going. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> I'm fucking loving it. <laughs> you fucking melt. What did you come up with? <laughs> Greg says, "Ah, oh, sad. Not. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not crying because I've got these other things. I'm crying because. Oh God." <sighs> So does Greg have to pick bean or chocolate, or are you just doing bean because you've already done chocolate? No, it's up to him. It's up to right. the man. What we up to Greg. And <laughs> Greg is very kind. He will see a bean. I know he will. He will not ask us to eat another chocolate. <laughs> I think I've lost two stone in sweat. <laughs> I'm going to lose another five tomorrow. Oh, shit, we're not even eight. <laughs> oh, God. No, oh, just one. Just no, one. It's, it's like you've got to like, be cautious with these. So. Yes, it does, Poppy. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, it's not two. We're not doing yeah, two. just one. We don't want to cause any yeah uh, heart attacks and stuff. Greg, I'm sure you, I'm sure you just put in there. You meant you meant to put it in being me, didn't you? Uh, oh, you come could... on, Greg, play fair. Yeah, come on, Greg. It's going to be a being me. He's just put chocolate all the way, and it's two. Come on, Greg. Bean, I think you meant to put, wasn't it? Was it? Was it? Was it was no, it guys, we're not doing two. He's, a, he's, he's bloody in his 60s with a lot of bloody heart con uh, lot of health conditions. He's going to kill him At off. He's still be mind. quiet. You're only after me fucking stash, aren't there? No chocolate. He wants the chocolate. Can I just say, um, Greg unfortunately resigned as a moderator tonight and we're looking for No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> he <laughs> didn't Greg alone. <laughs> <laughs> He's now showing it again. Dave, oh, Dave. Oh, yeah. Seeing as I've got the bigger balls than you, you do a chocolate, I'll do a chocolate and a bean. No, no, just do the chocolate. I found yeah, the chocolate. Please be careful. Look. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's <laughs> not fair. He's got a bit missing. I want a full one. Yeah, stop wimping out, Dad. <laughs> oh, fuck. I trust me to pick biggest one. <laughs> he got your extra. <laughs> I'm not impressed with mine, mind. What the fuck? He's got a small one. Yeah, but what about the chocolate are you in? <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Hey, I've got it. Are we biting these ones, Wayne? I can't I'm suck it. I'm sucking yeah, it. Yeah, don't, don't suck on it. It caused a lot of pain the first time. <laughs> yeah, don't suck on it. Yeah, suck on it. Yeah, it caused a lot of pain the first time. Yeah, don't suck on it. Yeah, suck on it. Yeah, don't 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 suck on it. God, just put it in your gob already. That's what I'm saying. Just get it in yet. <laughs> I'll show you how it goes. If it gets too bad, I'll have to bite it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
حاجة فقيم وياش Remember to breathe, guys. Breathe in through the mouth. <laughs> breathe, man. Shut up. Hang on. Hang on. It's a bit like raw reversal in child labor, this, isn't it? Just breathe. It's fine. Just breathe through the pain. Just breathe through the pain. <laughs> Would you like a big gas in there? Have you fucking chopped that already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about ring sting tomorrow, Deke. I've got it now. <laughs> yeah, take a bit. Win, take a bit. Ah, uh, fucking listening to you again. Water makes it worse, you daft ass. Is it? Be careful of how much milk you drink as well, because it sets your diabetes off. <sighs> yeah, is that chocolate diabetic? <laughs> yeah, you'll not fucking eat it again. First of all, wins. <laughs> oh. oh, God. I lost me fucking stop, rag. <laughs> oh, jeez. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What ones do you prefer then, Dad? Do you prefer the chocolate or do you prefer bean booze? <laughs> Give me 500 fucking white bean booze at any time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking easy. Fucking easy. <coughs> oh, God. <sighs> I can't sweat on just off watching you and laughing. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry for my mum. <laughs> Karen, can I have some more milk, love? He's <laughs> got the bubble on the freezer. <sighs> <coughs> that is bad. Uh, it was Caroline Reaper, uh, Caroline Reaper chocolate, Kenny. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fart. Hang on. Listen, listen. Oh, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> God, man. <laughs> right, don't drink too much because it messes with your diabetes. <sighs> If you don't oh. see me tomorrow, you know why. <laughs> Stuck on the pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do oh. not 
fart. Do not fart. I'll go throat roof. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Roll on Wednesday, Dave. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, God. Does your missus want one? <laughs> Here, Shell, do you want some of this lovely chocolate? No. Please. You'll have an arsehole like a dragon's nostril after. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> What's that, puppy? Keep <laughs> so updated that you will be walking tomorrow. Keep <laughs> <laughs> that mask will melt. Dave, if you if you paint the bathroom, <laughs> you'll be thinking in the poop with <laughs> cameras <laughs> <clears throat> please, 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 please do not shit yourself walking around as to my wall. Hey, you know what? Fucking hell. If, it, if, if you know if the zombies come anywhere near us tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <I'm not> <laughs> oh fucking hell. Oh. Our line of reaper is what's that? One just over one and a half million, is that? Yeah, one and a half million on the Scorfield scale. I'm eager to know what that Carolina Reaper's like it being compared to chocolate now. Well, go on and by all means try it, mate. You, you try What's it. What's it worth? How much are you going to pay Pal me over to take a bean boozled? <laughs> Nothing. If you do if you do I'm not handing you near me at the horizon of your bistro. There you go. Oh, you evil twat. I will win. Don't worry. I'll give you name in. Don't worry. What, one of them, Dave? Is it the red ones? Yeah. Well, hang on. You're just not going to eat a bean as well, are you? No, no, I'm not really. I'll be able to eat it, no problem. That looks fiery hot, that, doesn't it? <laughs> My ass is feeling fiery hot, I can <laughs> tell you. <laughs> I'm not doing it, no. <laughs> yeah, Matt, I ain't changing it, though. Not a chance. <laughs> Go on, man. Got to chew it for 20 seconds before you swallow it. I'll spit it out. Hang no, on. you got to swallow it. You're not allowed to spit it out. It's waste. You are fucking crazy. You fucking hate the corn, man. Is that hotter than the chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> You're joking. <sighs> it's not... When you bite into it, you can't really taste it. But as soon as you get that jelly bit on your tongue... <sighs> My <laughs> fucking ass is watering. My ass is watering. Used to it as mental. On that on that scale, is that hot? Yes. Well, Alex said earlier, your average supermarket actually is between. Two thousand five hundred and ten thousand. Ah, Dave, I've just noticed some. That what? red one. There's two red ones. 
Uh-huh. One of them's got the black bits on. That's the Carolina Reaper one. The one we've just oh. had, that Sriracha. Oh, that's, that's, that's the mild one. Well, no. I don't know. I haven't got any red one. with black bits. Yeah, that's the mild one. one. Go for the red and black one, then. Go on. You've got to do the red and black one, otherwise you've wimped out. No. No. Yes, you yes, yes, yes. No. No. He said he was going to do the, the hot one, and he hasn't done it, so he's got to do it. I do not want to see a status being put up that he's been rushed to fucking hospital just because stupid bloody chocolates and beans. That oh, one, that's that's the red and black one. That's that's the hot one. Yeah. Don't do it, Wayne. Don't do it, yeah. Wayne. No, don't do it, Wayne. Oh, my God. Oh, a bit shit. Fucking <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> hell. Oh. No stupid fucking idea with this. <laughs> we <sighs> told you not to. <laughs> <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, <sighs> that fuck, I've got life insurance. <sighs> So was that one worse than the chocolate, or was the chocolate worse than the bean? The bean is worse. It's, it's, more, more, it's more intense as the bean one. Is it? Well, the chocolate one didn't take his breath away. The bean did. The first chocolate, Wayne just sat there and bossed it. Uh, well, in other words, Mark... Greg, the chocolate is weak. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> it's only weak if you do one, but if you do one after other, <laughs> that's it's worse. Oh, the, the, yeah. <sighs> this is mental. I've still got a few bit. <sighs> what are no, they trotty. like if you mix trotty, them no. together? No. Trotty, I'll no, say. No. No, we do not. No, don't do. No, no, we're not doing a mixture. You we're know doing. what I'm like. No, no don't. don't do it. We're, don't do it. We're, no, we don't. Don't do it. Yeah. That is just one. too much. You've got to see them for next time. I've, I've ordered them uh, Bush Tucker ones as well. I'm wanting, do you know when we go shopping at Mowo, Dad, before we actually go to Wazda, can we pop to B&M's? Why? I'm wanting to see if they've got the bus trucker ones in. Because Amazon and that, they're quite expensive. Well, actually, them, uh, them re- re- the chili chocolates, I think we only paid about £2.50 for them, wouldn't it? Two ninety nine, I think it was. I know it was more the the, um, the beans late, wasn't it? Uh, Three ninety nine or four ninety nine, I think, for them. Good idea. What did you call that for? Great. Right, are we going to call it a night? Because I need to sort uniform and that out. And I think you two need a trip to the bog. I'm well, all right. I ain't got pains yet. No, it's, it's calmed down now. It's actually calmed down. It's in it. It's in it. It's in it. Just wait till bedtime. Woohoo! I mean, we tongue still a little bit, but at least my jar's not hurting anymore. I, I haven't got as much as not your nose and things, and my eyes, is, or my, my glass eye, isn't watering as bad now. So, Was it hurt on the top of your head or something? It was, it was going up through. Because I see, I see you put your hands on the top of your head yeah. as if like it was like it was like what the fuck am I doing here? But it was, it was going up through the jaw. Mum says I'm, the beans was five fifty. Oh, five fifty for the beans. What did you lose? Get the fucking beans for, woman? I'm dreading to see what Kenny's put in group. It's just come up. He's tagged me in a picture. 
<laughs> right. Anyway, look. Good night. Um, perfect beer. Get on them if you want these. Um, the dessert range. Um, you can drop them a message. Um, now, if there's any of the dessert range that you're looking for, uh, the ones that won. So I'll just get these just to show you what the real about. Just in case one of these take your fancy if you're not a dessert lover. Um, let me let you get these down. Good night, Lee. There he is. So the five lucky winners, and when you're one of them, um, there's a top shop range, which is tropical andy, strawberry chews, uh, cola cubes, chew sticks, and fruit salad. So if you that one, the fruit salad is the top seller out of that range. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so if you're into your bubble gums, the perfect bubble gum range. Fuck, I can't even talk properly. Uh, there's blueberry bubble gum, apple bubble gum, lemon bubble gum, watermelon bubble gum. You're right, Wayne. Yeah, I've just burped. Just licked my teeth and I must have had a bit of chilli stuck in my tooth. Strawberry bubble gum and cherry bubble gum. Oh, so, God. the five winners, if you want to pick one from the bubble gum range, let us know. If you want to pick one from the tuck shop, well, the uh, tuck shop range, let us know. Or if you want one of the ones that we reviewed tonight, let us know what your choices are. Um, okay. I'm a stupid bastard. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you need to, I can send you a picture of the them. You can open them up, never look and zoom in. Let me back my throat again. And pick which one you want. Hey, <laughs> Dev. Um, I please. feel good. I do, 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 do. I don't. <laughs> uh, well, I Try and get us over as quick as possible what you want just in case I'm not around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I'll have Forest Fruit Gatto one, please. You want Forest Fruit? Well, what I need, mate, is if you can just drop us your, your, um, your post details across. I think I've got them, but just send them across again anyway and just put on Forest Fruit Gatto. Yeah. I might be changing my address. It might be local hospital. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Hang on, hang on. Dad, don't. Oh, I better not. I might follow through for boxing. <laughs> <laughs> well, but uh, we have got. Um, we need to, well, these are the juices all for review and what. I mean, I mean, to sweat the bath there as well. But we have got another range coming, um, which is coming out, being released on Friday. Yeah? Um, and we one of one of your couple of groups has been asked to do the review on it, so which is brilliant for you, member members. It's all about you guys. It's um, right. Shall we say good night? I think we're better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually all right. Actually, Not yeah. So bad. It keeps getting the back of my throat. Go gargle with some hey. Listerine. Listerine. <laughs> it's the lovely Adrian sent us up about 300 bottles of Listerine. So I've got plenty of Listerine. Yeah. I think I'll be I think I'll be giving that a go tonight, honest. God damn me. So anyway, look, good night everybody. Thanks for joining us. I know we have a bit of waffle afterwards, but uh, I think tonight is uh, special circumstances. And we've got to shoot because we might need the pooper soon. So, we in. Burning Ring of Fire. Do you want to say good night, Burning Ring of Fire? Good night, Burning Ring of Fire. Go on, do you want to say good night, Top Moody Bitch? <laughs> good night, Top Moody Bitch. Dad, say good night, Daddy Dave. Good night, Daddy Dave. 
Yes, yes, everybody. We'll catch you soon. Bye.